right, so it's easy to want to get to set and make up your shot list on the fly. The reason that sounds so appealing is because it is. When it happens and works, it is everything we got into this business to do. It's creation, it's collaboration, it's problem solving, it's storytelling. The thing is, it doesn't happen very often. What normally happens is the world explodes and the sun begins melting into the night and we have 30 seconds to get a five minute action scene. And this person needs this and that person needs that. And you stayed up last night editing yesterday's footage and your body is threatening to shut down or melt and all you can really muster up creatively is sort of a faint buzzing sound. All right, Graham, what do we have to get? Between time and art. Now, you have to prep. You want to prep. You need a detailed map because you're expected to take this journey completely out of order. You need to know where your characters are at all times, where your audience is at all times. Where you're, when your brain is fried and the sun is going down, you need to be able to recall the roadmap you prepped when you were wide awake and focused. You probably already know how to break down a script, but here's how it's done slash how I do it. Reading through the scene, I use numbers and circles and lines to note shots and how much of the scene those shots need to cover. Usually I'm the one who wrote the scene, so I already have an idea in my head for how the scene should be covered. But I still always try to examine the scene and look for uh, point of view, progress, pivots, and transitions. The four Ps. Now, from whose point of view are we experiencing or witnessing the scene? Is the scene biased towards any one character? This will motivate a lot of my shot choices. What progress is made in the scene? What progress is obstructed or hindered? The character entered the scene wanting something. How did they progress in their journey to get it? Are there any major pivots in the scene? Sometimes there are pivots of intent, like if a character enters the scene wanting one thing but leaves the scene wanting another. And sometimes there are pivots of context, where the audience enters the scene thinking what they're seeing is one thing, then will leave realizing it's something else entirely. Where is the specific moment in the scene when that pivot happens, and how can I visually represent it? Are there any opportunities for interesting transitions between the scenes that precede and follow this one? Does a character drop something at the end of this scene in a way that I can open the next scene on something landing? When it comes time to organize all of this into a legible shot list, a shot list in the real world can look pretty much like anything. It can look like this. It can look like this. It can look like this. Whatever your chosen format, just try to include the following data. Shot number, shot description, including any moves, shot size, lens focal length, and camera support. If you're looking for a good app, I recommend ShotLister. It works on mobile and desktop and can sync between devices. 